Wanna dine and dash here? We will find you. So, the other day my strict manager was in a particularly good mood and told us this story and I thought it belonged here. A week or two ago it was dinner time on a Friday, so, like plenty of other restaurants, we were really busy with a long wait. A former employee from a different location comes in to apply for a job. Because of how busy we are the manager asks the cashier for basic information and her resume so he can look her up in our system. He finds out that she can't be rehired, per company policy, so he has the cashier tell her that the restaurant is too busy for a manager to interview her. Despite not getting an interview the girl and her friend decide to eat dinner, and not pay. My manager looks over the tapes and sees the girl applying for the job walk around through the store section of our restaurant, go to the bathroom, and leave. A few minutes later, her friend does the same thing. Luckily, he has all of her personal information on the resume she left, as well as information on her car from security cameras. What does my manager do? He calls her back up and apologizes for being so busy, maybe she could come back in for an interview with him. She wants to know when, so my boss lies and says that he's leaving on vacation for a few weeks and it would be best if she came back in as soon as possible. An hour later, he sees her car pull into the parking lot and calls the police. He sits down with her and conducts an interview like any other. He excuses himself to go get some availability paperwork and comes back with the receipts and confronts her about not paying. She immediately starts freaking out, saying her friend told her she would pay for her meal and talking about how her friend was always stealing from her, and she shouldn't trust her friend anymore. She offers to pay for her meal, but says she won't pay for her friends. My manager tells her that she'll pay for both, or he'll bring in the police that he's already called. She pays for both meals and leaves a nice $6 tip. Then she asked my manager, wait, you didn't just bring me in here to have me pay, did you? My manager tells her of course not, but that she should come in tomorrow and ask for Teresa, our general manager, so she can interview her. Sure enough, she comes in the next day and asks for our GM. Teresa tells her that not only will she never work at one of our restaurants again, but she is not welcomed back at our location.